Hey guys, it's Ami and more. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute chameleon inspired by Tangled. This features includes a spiral tail, spikes, and a very happy face. Here he is with his open base mouth. You can find a free written pattern on my blog, amiamore.com, along with all my other free crochet patterns. This chameleon is actually part of my Open Math Amigurumi series. You can find all the tutorials for these on my YouTube channel. Alright, what are we waiting for? Let's get started! Here are the materials you'll need. You'll need a crochet hook 5.0 millimeter in size. For the yarn, we're going to use worsted weight acrylic yarn in green and pink and white. For the body with green yarn, for round one, you will do four single crochet stitch into the magic ring. So that is one, two, three, four, and then you'll want to tighten your ring and then use a stitch marker to mark the end of the round. Now for round two, our pattern is going to be two and then one, 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 and you'll have five single crochet stitches. So in our very first stitch, it's going to be one and two into our same stitch and then one, one, and one into our very last stitch. And now we should have five single crochet stitches. And now you'll want to flip your project inside out so that the proper side is showing. And for rounds 3 through 15, we are just going to stay at one in each stitch all the way around. So you'll stay at five single crochet stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, and five single crochet stitches. Now you'll want to keep continuing one in each stitch all the way around until you get to round 15. So go ahead and work up your stitches. Here's how your project should look like after 15 rounds. For round 16, our pattern is two and in the next four, just one. And you'll have six single crochet stitches at the end. So that's one and two. And then it's going to be one, two, three, and four. And now we should have six single crochet stitches around. For round 17, our pattern is going to be two. One, one, two, one, one, and you'll have eight single crochet stitches at the end. So that's one and two, and then one and one. Repeat the pattern again. It's going to be one and two, and then one and one, and now we should have eight single crochet stitches around. For round 18, our pattern is going to be two, one, 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 two, one, 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 and you'll have 10 single crochet stitches. So that's going to be one and two, and then one, one, and one. Repeat the pattern again. It's two right there. So that's one and two and then one, one, and one into our very last stitch and now we should have 10 single crochet stitches around. For round 19, our pattern is two and in the next four, just one, repeat around and you'll have 12 single crochet stitches. So that's one and 
two into our next stitch and then it's one, two, three, and four. Repeat the pattern again. It's two right here. So that's one and two. And then it's one, two, three, and four. And now we should have 12 single crochet stitches. For round 20, our pattern is going to be two, one, one, one. Repeat the pattern all the way around and you'll have 15 single crochet stitches. So that is one and two. And then it's going to be one, one, and one. Repeat the pattern again. It's going to be one and two. And in our next three, just one. So that's one, one, one. And repeat the pattern one last time. That's two, one, one, one. So that's going to be one and two and one, one, and one. And now we should have 15 single crochet stitches. Now for round 21, we're just going to stay at 15 single crochet stitches. So it's just one in each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. Now for round 22, our pattern is going to be two. And then in our next four, just one and repeat all the way around and you'll have 18 single crochet stitches. So that's one and two and one, two, three, and four. And repeat the pattern again. It's two and in our next four, just one. So that's one and two and one two three and four repeat the pattern one last time so that's one and two and one two three and four and now we should have 18 single crochet stitches for round 23 our pattern is two and in our next five just one and repeat the pattern around and you'll have 21 single crochet stitches so that's one and two and then it's one two three four and five repeat the pattern again it's two right here so that's one and two and then in our next five, just one. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And repeat one last time. It's two. And in our next five, just one. So that's one and two and one, two, three, four, and five and now we should have 21 single crochet stitches for round 24 we are just going to stay at 21 so it's just one in each stitch all the way around so go ahead and work up your stitches for round 25 our pattern is going to be two and in the next six, just one and repeat around and you'll have 24 single crochet stitches. So that's one and two and one, two, three, four, five, six. Repeat the pattern again. That's two right there. So that's one and two and then one in the next six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And repeat one last time. That's going to be two. And in the next six, just one. So that's one and two. And one, two, three, 
four, five, and six into our very last stitch, and now we should have twenty four single crochet stitches. For round 26, we are going to stay at 24, so it's just one in each stitch around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. For round 27, our pattern is a decrease, and in the next six, just one. Repeat all the way around, and you'll have 21 single crochet stitches. So here is our first decrease, insert hook, bring yarn out. Insert hook, yarn over, and now we should have three loops, yarn over, come out through all three. That's our first decrease. And then our next six, we'll just do one. So that is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Repeat the pattern again. We're going to do a decrease. So that is one decrease and then in our next six just one so that is one two three four five and six and then repeat one last time we'll do a decrease right here and then the rest of the stitches just one so that is a decrease and one two three four, five, and six, and now we should have 21 single crochet stitches. Now for round 28, our pattern is going to be a decrease, and then our next five, just one, repeat around, and you'll have 18 single crochet stitches. So here is our first decrease, and then it's one, two, three, four, and five. Repeat the pattern again. We're going to do a decrease. And then it's going to be one, two, three, four, and five. And repeat the pattern one last time. We're going to do a decrease. And then it's going to be one, two, three, four, and five into our very last stitch. And now we should have 18 single crochet stitches. For round 29, we are just going to stay at 18. So we're just going to do one in each stitch around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. For round 30, our pattern is a decrease in our next four, just one. Repeat around and you'll have 15 single crochet stitches. Here is our first decrease and then it's one, two, three, and four, repeat the pattern again, our decrease right here. And then it's one, two, three, and four. And then repeat the pattern one last time. Here is our decrease. And then we are going to do one, two, three, and four. And now we should have 15 single crochet stitches around. For round 31, we are going to stay at 15. So we're going to do one in each stitch around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. And when we get to our very last stitch, we can go ahead and cut off a long tail and fasten off. And here is our body and tail completed. For the big spike with green yarn, for round one, you are going to do four single crochet stitch into the magic ring. That's one, two, three, 
and four and go ahead and close your ring and then use your stitch marker and now for round two we are going to do two in each stitch around and we'll have eight single crochet stitches so in our very first stitch that is one and two and one and two and continue to work up the rest of the stitches for round three we are going to stay at eight so it's just one in each stitch all the way around so go ahead and work up your stitches now for round four our pattern is going to be two one 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 two one 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 and now you should have 10 single crochet stitches around so that is one and two and then it's one one and one repeat the pattern again again is two one 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 so that is going to be one and two and then one one and into our very last stitch just one and now we should have 10 single crochet stitches around and then you can go ahead and cut off a long tail and fasten off and here is your big spike completed so for the little spikes with green yarn you are going to go ahead and chain 14 so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and then you're going to do a slip stitch back and then chain two one and two slip stitch back and then slip stitch in our next two so that's going to be one and two repeat the pattern again chain two one and two and then slip stitch back and then in our next stitch which is right here and here you are going to do a slip stitch back one and two continue to repeat the pattern all the way back and then at the end you can go in and, and cut off a long tail and so when we look at our spikes we should have six in total so if we count that's going to be one two three four five and six little spikes for the leg with green yarn for round one you will do four single crochet stitch into the magic ring so that's one two three and four go ahead and close your ring and we'll use a stitch marker to mark the end of the round and now for round two we're just going to stay at four so it's just one in each stitch around so this is going to be one, 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 and then in our very last stitch, it's like we are going to do one and then we'll flip it inside out so the proper side is showing. For round three, our pattern is two half double crochet stitches, two half double crochet, and then one single crochet, one single crochet. Half double crochet, yarn over, insert hook into the next stitch, yarn over, come back out. You'll have three loops, yarn over, come out through all three. That's our first half double crochet stitch. We want one more. So here is our second half double crochet stitch. Yarn over, come back out through all three. Okay, now we have one and two half double crochet. In our next stitch, we are also going to do two half double crochet stitch. So here is our first half double crochet stitch. And then we'll do one more half double crochet stitch. Here is our second half double crochet stitch. And now we are just going to do single crochet stitch right here 
and in our next stitch single crochet stitch and now we should have six stitches around for round four, we are going to do single crochet stitch all the way around. So we're just going to stay at six stitches. So that is one, two, three, four, five, and six into our very last stitch. For round five, our pattern is going to be two, one, one, two, one, one, and we'll have eight single crochet stitches at the end. So that's going to be one and two, and then just one and one. Repeat the pattern again, two, one, one. So that is one and two, and then just one and one. Now we should have eight single crochet stitches around. For round six, we are just going to stay at eight. So it's just one in each stitch around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. So now for round seven name, we want to work through the front loop only before we went through both loops. But now we want to go through front loop only. This one is the back loop, but we only want to go through the front loop. So for round 7A, we're going to slip stitch in the front loop, chain 2, that's 1, 2, slip stitch into the previous chain, and then slip stitch into the next stitch into the front loop only. Chain 2, that's 1 and 2, slip stitch into the previous chain, and then slip stitch into the front loop only. Chain two, one and two, slip stitch into the previous chain, and then slip stitch into the front loop of the next stitch. Now if we look, we have our three web feet right there. And then we're going to do slip stitch into the front loop only in the next four stitches. So that's one slip stitch, two, three, and into our very last stitch right here into the front loop. We'll do our last slip stitch. And now for round 7B, we are just going to work in the back loop only and we're going to decrease three times into the back loop only. So here is our first decrease into the back loop. So here is one decrease. And then here is our next single crochet decrease. And then you'll want to do one last decrease right here. And then we can go ahead and cut off a long tail and fasten off. And here is our leg completed and you'll want to make four. For the eyebrows with green yarn, you are going to go ahead and chain nine. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And we're going to slip stitch back across. So we'll have eight slip stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You're going to go ahead and cut off a long tail and fasten off. And here is our eyebrow and you'll want to make two. For the eye with white yarn, for round one, you will do six single crochet stitch into the magic ring. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. You're going to go ahead and close your ring and we'll use a stitch marker to mark the end of our round. 
Now for round two, our pattern is going to be two in each stitch all the way around and you'll have 12 single crochet stitches. So in our next stitch, it's going to be one and two and then one and two and continue to repeat all the way around and you should have 12 single crochet stitches at the end. And then when you get to the end, we are going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch and then fasten off. And here is our eye completed and then you'll want to make two. For our chameleon head, you'll want to make this open mouth base. I'll link to the crochet tutorial right here as well as in my description. So go ahead and make the head and come back and we'll finish the rest of the chameleon. Here's our finished chameleon. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe so you catch all my tutorials. Alright, I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.